Hello, hello, hello. It's me again, Kim Lachelle, and I'm coming with an unboxing from Sugar Ray. And I did email them to find out exactly how do you pronounce the store's name. Because I was saying Shakura, Shakur, Shakuri, it's Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. And the reason why I'm showing you the unboxing because I want to show you how much love and care Alex puts into shipping products to his customers. You cannot ask for anything better than this. So here we go and I will show you the inks that I got. So this first bottle of ink is actually a permanent ink waterproof and a lot of the inks that I ordered were waterproof and I wanted a nice deep black I'm used to platinum carbon black and so I just wanted to see what Tono and Limbs had in store for us with the black ink when I originally did the unboxing I didn't swatch the ink so this swatching was done later and I'm using a folded nib to swatch the ink which I really do like and I'm like, why was I doing an unboxing of ink and not even showing you the ink? So that's why I went back and swatched the ink and you'll see me using a glass pen to write with the ink. Mm, I'm going to let you know, I'm going to butcher these ink names. They are Japanese. I don't speak Japanese, but I will do my best attempt into sharing the names of the inks. But I've written them down, so if you want to order, you'll be able to order them from Sugar Ray. This ink is called Kuro. Kuro. K-U-R-O. I think I'm pronouncing it right and it's waterproof and it's from the second anniversary line which i didn't spell anniversary correct Ugh, i tell you now this ink here i'm gonna tell you i purchased it because it has the smell the scent of coffee and if you like the scent of coffee, it is such a beautiful smell. It's not overpowering, it's just right. It's called Emerald Mountain. It's a brown and it's a beautiful color also, but it smells just like coffee. I started off using my Hario glass dip pen, but I had to change to the Hase glass dip pen. I have just been using that pen quite often and I just love the way it writes. The Hario is more like a broad nib and I just needed something a little finer. See, oh that is so smooth and I just enjoy the way this Hase glass dip pen is writing. I cannot wait to get more of these glass pens. They are wonderful to write with. I am a coffee drinker and a tea drinker. And when I saw that Tona and Limbs had an afternoon tea ink and it's supposed to smell like fresh brewed tea, I had to get it. Now, I'm not sold on the smell of this. It does smell like tea, but there are so many different types of tea that I'm not sure what tea it smells like. And I apologize here, I forgot to show me swatching the ink with the folded nib. But that's why I kind of let it sit there a little so you can see it. But I have to say, this is actually a beautiful green. It's like what, I forgot the 
watercolor green, sap green. It kind of looks like a sap green to me, but it's really pretty. But it doesn't really smell like tea. Maybe if it smelled like matcha tea, it would have been great. The next four inks are from the Tonal and Lens Fixation line. They are all waterproof inks and I really like these inks. The colors are very pretty and vibrant and they write really well. I believe this color is called Watari. Watari? Watari? It is a very beautiful teal color. I really want to share these tonal and limbs swatches because I'm having a very hard time seeing swatches of these colors on YouTube. So I really wanted to share the tonal and limbs inks and I will be coming back with more swatching of their inks because they are very beautiful inks. Ooh, this purple is so pretty. Look how deep it is. It's called Minori. And wow, it's really pretty. Hands down, this is my favorite color that I'm swatching today. This color, I had to show you the bottle twice because when I did the unboxing, I realized that I didn't show you this beautiful pearl glitter shimmer, pearl shimmer that's in there. It's called Nozomi and it is so pretty. However, I can't see yellow very well. And when I started to write, I lose track of what I'm writing because of my ring light and I really can't see yellow for some reason. But it is a beautiful color. It's so pretty and that shimmer is gorgeous. Okay, this red is really pretty. So I did the same thing. I didn't show you the beautiful gold shimmer in this ink. And actually, I don't think my swatch did a very good job either. However, it is a beautiful red. 
and I apologize because I really cannot pronounce this ink so we are just going to show it it's spelled K-O-I-N-E-G-A-U I'm not sure but I try and you can't penalize me for trying but it is a beautiful red it is a red red not an orange red it's actually a beautiful red So here are the inks as they have dried. I'm still waiting on the red ink to dry and I'll come back an hour or two later and just show you how they look being completely dry, but they really look pretty. Look at that black. Ooh, that permanent black is really dark. We like a dark black. Those colors are very beautiful. Now, that's a probably about two or three hours later. The red dried really nice. You can see that shimmer in the yellow. It looks good. No complaints. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back with more swatching of inks because I really truly enjoyed doing this, and I hope you have as much fun as I am and sharing these videos. So take care. Goodbye.